I arrived at OPEC six or so years ago, a lot of the ambassadors and State Department folks would say to me how surprised they were that when they met with other heads of state, that the other heads of state had heard of OPEC. And what we realized is that we're actually incredibly well known in 160 countries throughout the world, far better known than we are in Washington, DC. Um, so we've been working on that a little bit, thanks to the work of all of you as well. Now, today, what we realize is the ambassadors are incredibly important partners to us in country after country, and our clients recognize that when you sign on for work with OPEC, you're actually getting the entire US government behind you. So I could give you a litany of cases where I've been able to call the ambassador and say, can you help me? This client of ours feels he's been unfairly treated in a tender, and the ambassador will call the minister. Or we'll call the, we'll call the central bank governor. I think mm -hmm. this is the case yeah. you know about, Diana, because a private equity fund can't get the dollars out of the central bank to repatriate a dividend. Mm -hmm. He'll make that call. So we actually have a growing recognition today, much different than it was a few years ago, that the ambassadors are out there to, to, you know, to, 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 to work in partnership with us in the service of what the countries want most, which is, which is US foreign direct investment. 